Hi friends, today I discuss velocity time graph. The variation in velocity with respect to time for an object moving in a straight line, moving in a straight line can be represented by a velocity time graph. A velocity time graph in which velocity is represented along y axis velocity and time is represented along x axis time is represented along x axis now if the object is has uniform velocity the first case is first case object moves at uniform velocity object moves at uniform velocity means velocity is constant or velocity will not change with respect to time so it will be a straight line parallel to x axis it will be a straight line parallel to x axis now if i can say this velocity is 50 km per hour so this is the graph of a car moving with a uniform velocity of 50 km per hour so this is the graph of uniform motion uniform motion now if i discuss on second case second case non uniform motion non uniform motion now discuss on your non uniform motion non uniform motion means velocity is variable velocity is variable then this represent two case in first velocity is uniformly changed velocity is uniformly changed uniformly changed and the second thing is velocity is non uniformly changed non uniformly changed velocity is uniformly changed means acceleration is constant acceleration is constant and velocity is non uniformly changed means acceleration is not constant in first case when acceleration is constant and it is called uniformly accelerated motion uniform accelerated motion or in this case or in this case or is this type of motion is called non uniform accelerated motion non uniform accelerated motion so in in the in the case of variable velocity these two type of motion in uniformly accelerated motion in uniformly accelerated motion mean velocity change equal mean velocity change by equal amount in equal interval in equal interval velocity change by equal amount in equal intervals means velocity is 
means velocity is directly proportional to time this means this graph is like a straight line so i draw a graph for a uniformly accelerated motion if this is a time and this is a velocity then this graph is straight line so this graph is for uniformly accelerated motion or uniform accelerated motion so now discuss second case non uniform accelerated motion so in the case of non uniform accelerated motion velocity changes by unequal amount in equal interval means velocity change unequal amount unequal amount in equal interval equal interval or equal time interval equal time equal so velocity change unequal amount in equal time interval so this is the a uh, changeful relation established between velocity and time so the graph is different different time different different time at different different situation so the graph looks like as like this like so the graph it looks like this this is again a velocity this is again a time something this type and in non uniformly accelerated motion graph looks like like zigzag manner so this is for non uniform non uniform accelerated motion non uniform accelerated motion this is again velocity this is again time so in this case this is also for uniform accelerated motion uniform accelerated motion in this graph slope is negative or velocity is decreasing in this graph velocity is increasing and in this graph this is represented at non uniform accelerated motion so something zigzag like graph so i hope you understand what is the velocity time graph and how to draw velocity time graph for different different type of motion now discuss in next page now one more important thing about velocity time graph we know that the product of velocity and time gives displacement or distance which give displacement so in velocity time graph the area enclosed by the area enclosed by the area enclosed by velocity time graph velocity time graph and time axis and time axis is equal to axis will be equal to equal to this magnitude of displacement magnitude of displacement i discuss in two case first in uniform motion if in uniform motion draw this graph 1 2 3 and 
this gives 10 20 30 and if I this is the velocity time graph of a uniform motion this point is A and this point is B firstly draw a perpendicular on x axis from the initial and final point so the area of this graph velocity time graph with time axis is equal to displacement so I find area this is a rectangle so the area is length into breadth the length is 4 minus 2 is 2 and breadth is 0 to 30 so 30 minus 0 30 so this is area is 60 meter and this is a displacement this area gives magnitude of displacement in the case of non-uniform motion or uniform accelerated motion this type graph this is 5 10 15 20 25 again 10 20 30 and 40 if I draw a situation this is a point A and B so I find the displacement of the object from point A to B then just draw a perpendicular on on this on horizontal axis x axis so find the area of this diagram I find the displacement of this object in this case draw this line so this is the triangle so first and this is the second this is the first and second so the area is area of triangle plus area of rectangle area of triangle is half into base this is the base so 20 minus 10 equal to 10 into height this is the height 20 to 40 so this is also 20 plus area of rectangle so length into breadth 10 20 this is 10 and breadth 20 to 0 so breadth is 20 so this is 2 5 ja 10 100 plus 200 equal to 300 meter so displacement is 300 so you find an important conclusion this is that the area enclosed by velocity time graph and time axis will be equal to magnitude of displacement so I hope you understand what is the velocity time graph and what is the use of velocity time graph so please download the scholar learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning thanks to watching this video